We live in a world of super fake news. Can't trust the network news. Can't trust your favorite news source. Can't trust anything you see on social media in isolation. So if you're trying to creep toward the truth, I recommend this system. Get yourself a list of credible people. Pick any three of them that make sense for the topic. And make sure that those three people are on the same side. Otherwise, some uncertainty would be in order. I want to teach you how to know what is true and what is not true, at least in the terms of the things that are in the political news. And here's an approach I would like to promote. And it goes like this. You should create your own list, and I'll give you my starter list, of what I call high-value thinkers. Now, I don't want to call them like the, uh, the intellectual dark web. I don't want it to be a club. So it's not a fraternity, it's not a club, it's not some group that's you know a fixed group. But rather, it's in my experience and opinion, a number of people, uh, I'm just using Twitter as my field here, my canvas, a number of people who I would say are unusually credible and also well-informed. So you would have to be credible and well-informed. What makes you credible? The only thing that makes you credible is that you have a history of sometimes taking the opposite opinion. In other words, if you're associated with the left or the right, have you ever, even once, agreed with the other side in public? All right. Now, this list is not complete. I literally ran out of room, and so if, you're, if you see some, somebody who belongs on the list and isn't here, I see a lot of people saying, where's, where's Ben Shapiro on the list? And maybe he belongs on the list, um, Cheryl Atkinson is on the list. I see you suggesting that. So it's not complete. You can add other people. But let me just run through these to tell you uh, what it is that makes this group special and why I think they're high-value thinkers and why if, if you're trying to decide if something in the news is true or not, these are the people to go to. All right, but then there's going to be a, a second part of this that will be on the other side. So... For example, you've seen Dershowitz and Jonathan Turley know everything there is to know about the law, it seems, anyway. Both of them are capable of supporting something on the left or something on the right. They do it all the time. And they're really smart, and they usually are really good. Oh, Robert Barnes. I would put Robert Barnes on there as well. Uh, So there are a number of names that do belong on here. I was just trying to give you a starter list. Um, Cernovich... You can guarantee that Cernovich is giving you an actual opinion, not a you know, political, I'm on a team kind of opinion, because he does it all the time. Now, are all the people on this list right about stuff? No. You'll see some people on this list who are famous for getting stuff wrong, but they don't get most things wrong. You can still get something wrong, no matter how smart you are. Oh, I did have Ben Shapiro on the list. I forgot. Um, so this, the people on the left are people who have experience in the law or uh, law enforcement, in the case of Bongino. So if you have anything that has a, a legal element to it, uh, the, this is a good list of people. Um, <clears throat> Andres uh, Backhouse, I use him as my go-to for anything data or logic or economic related. He's just a, an extraordinary source. I don't even know if he's left or right, which is amazing. Imagine interacting with somebody on a regular basis about politics and you don't know what their opinion is, left or right. That's like a home run, right? If you can pull that off, interact on politics extensively, and when you're done, people go, I don't even know, does he lean conservative? I can't even tell. That's that's good, right? So uh, Andres Backhouse... uh, Molly Hemingway, I put her on the list just as one of the clearest thinkers with the best, you know, uh, full historical understanding of issues and politics, etc. Uh, Dana Prino, you can see her on both sides of, of issues all the time. You, you would never expect her to say anything that she knew to be untrue. It just wouldn't happen. But you do see lots of pundits say things that you think, I think even they know that's not true. But you would never get that out of uh, the people on this list. Glenn Greenwald, 
uh, tremendous voice, different look on a lot of things, uh, Matt Taibbi, associated with the left, but he's willing to cross over. I put Smirkanish on there from CNN. Smirkanish, uh, I'm going to keep giving him props for being non-political on a political show. Again, he is so fair-minded that he really stands out on CNN. He's, he's actually quite special that way. Uh, Greg Gutfeld, you'll see him follow the, the data and the issues wherever they go. Uh, Dr. Jew for medical stuff, if I've got a nuclear energy question, Mark Schneider, if it's anything about uh, climate change or uh, the environment, Michael Schellenberger and then Cheryl Atkinson, uh, a great uh, political uh, investigative voice. So anybody on that list would be strong, but since not all of them are right all the time, here's the second part. You want to triangulate. I'll use that word. Pick three people from your list, and here's just an example. So if there's a specific topic, and let's say the, the, you pick three people and they all agree. You've got a Mike Cernovich, he says, yeah, that's true. You've got a Molly Hemingway, she says, yeah, that's true. And you've got a, um, uh, Andres Backhaus who says, yeah, the data looks right. The economic argument looks right. If these three people say something's true, bet on it. Bet on it. And you could replace any of these three people with uh, the correct choices from the other side of the board. So it doesn't have to be these three. These are just three examples. If it were a legal question, you'd want you know, Dershowitz to be in one of these boxes. If it's an environmental question, you want a Mike Schellenberger to be in one of these boxes. So this is the technique. And I'm seeing a lot of suggestions of people I definitely do not believe belong on the list. I don't want to call out the ones that I think don't belong on the list because uh, I don't need to be insulting anybody. But there are definitely some suggestions you made that I wouldn't get anywhere near this list. And the reason is that they have a history of being uh, taking a political side even if the data doesn't quite support it. So that, that's sort of my tell for somebody who's not going to be a, a credible person. Now, let's say you picked your three people and any two of them said, yeah, that's true, but one says it's not. Well, if the one who says it's not is the subject matter expert, maybe you would weigh that. But if they're all, say, equally qualified for whatever this question is, two out of three probably tells you it's likely but not guaranteed. So I think that would be meaningful. You don't need to have three out of three, but three out of three is better. All right. Uh, Somebody says Rush is always right. So actually, let me use Rush Limbaugh as an example of somebody who's tremendously knowledgeable and um, you know, qualified in lots of ways. But he does a political entertainment show. So he does take a side. He does a great job of defending his side. But he's really about a side. Right? So he would not be on my list, even though he's tremendous for the, the specific thing he tells you he's doing, which is entertainment. He does that really well. All right. Uh, so here's the technique. Look for people who can uh, be on both sides of an issue. Let let me take just one example. Mark Levin. I saw that name go by. Mark Levin, super smart in the law and and in politics. So if you want somebody who knows the, the topic, Mark Levin would be great. But ask yourself this. Have you seen him take a Democrat side of anything? Personally, I haven't. If I had, he'd be on the list. If you've seen him take the other side of an issue ever, then you should put him on your list. I just haven't personally seen it, so I don't have that assurance yet, so he's not on my list. So the importance of this is this. We live in a world of super fake news. Can't trust the network news. Can't trust your favorite news source. Can't trust anything you see on social media in isolation. So if you're trying to creep toward the truth, I recommend this system. Get yourself a list of credible people, pick any three of them that make sense for the topic, and make sure that those three people are on the same side. Otherwise, some uncertainty would be in order. 